Those statues took time and effort. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. Down, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demigod statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly until you started clearing them out. Sounds as if Mr. Moon deserved what he got, but perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Rebellion. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I unknown? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Revelio.
Revelio. I've been collecting chis purple fangs the entire term. Then I thought I'd be clever and simply keep a few chis purple. I've seen the boys looking very sheepish lately. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Revelio. Why do students always run when Peavesy wants to have some fun? Ugh. My friends and I lose track of the time when we were at the three broomsticks. Nearly missed exams one year. We were so engrossed in our butterbeers. <laughs> I'd like to open a shop in Hogsmeade myself one day. Glad Rags could do with some competition. We're quite fortunate the school's so close to Hogsmeade. There's nothing like it in all of Britain. Revelio. You're a rather good flyer. Revelio.
In today's lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmos the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower entrance hall. Along with... At least we're out of the classroom. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellion. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Gok said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Now, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious students can find him on display here in the bell tower and... Revelio. Can you tell me where I might find Grimbald Weft? Oh, yes. Grimbald Weft. Quick with a needle and thread, that one. He's a fascinating artifact of the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. At any rate, he can be found nearby, perched in his case. Revelio. Sir Skagglethorpe the Heedless once challenged a mountain troll to a game of... Leave it to Bins to make the most interesting school in the world seem dull. Revelio. Wagadu's history is, well, a bit different than that of Hogwarts, to say the least. This Grimbold seems like a helpful fellow. What are you? Oh yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buddle. He's also nearby. 
See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is Revelio. the retinue of loyal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should clarify. What I wouldn't he give to be back on a broom right now. spot the statue of Sir Hathbottle of the cheerful countenance you nestled among magic, the ranks. You're doomed to repeat it. The class, that is. His fame was not won by vanquishing foes in single combat, nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons, but rather in training yards and scullions. His warm and approachable demeanor was celebrated by old friends and newcomers alike. I encourage everyone to make the waving statues acquainted. Revelio. Our students often complain about the many staircases at Hogwarts, sir, but they... Never... Abandoning class to wander the halls is in keeping with Professor Binz's manner of teaching. There's nothing quite so magical as history. Dusty, immutable history. Hogwarts founders could never have achieved such architectural majesty without the aid of powerful magic. Revelio. As one would expect, Hogwarts... Professor Binns, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Hmm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. A wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they Rebellion. Say. Or at least, I like to say that. <laughs> Looks like we've all gone on another one of Binz's wild goose chases. How can we do so much and accomplish so little?
Revelio. Yes. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Confringo. Accio.
Revelio. Revelio. And Peeves wins the House Cup! Alohomora. Revelio. The Ministry will hear about this! The fiends will rot in Azkaban! Revelio. Revelio. Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I have more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. Oh dear. That sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what Astoria Cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's where my other frame hung. Marvel of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. Yeah. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? 
She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment, and the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Somebody, help! I've been kidnapped! Revelio. Nice to see you, my young friend. A story of cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Revelio. I'll check your pockets after you're dead. Depulsa. Now, this has become. Now you've done it. Depulsa. Oh, the fire! Oh, 
Revelio. Iona Morgan, and I'll not forget it. You're going through it. Revelio. This looks intriguing. Rebellion. Revelio. Huh. Confringo. Revelio.
Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Well, it's about time. Rebellion. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down? Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me! Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. Let's get out of here then, shall we? Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. Revelio. For this, leaving me in here with your unsanitary clutter. Get me out! Would have known Harlow had met his match the day of the troll attack in Hogsmeade. The village owes you a great debt for ridding us of that monster. What are you, a troll? All your heavy stamping about is going to damage my frame. Oh, finally, back on my wall and more angelic than ever. There you are. Welcome back. I'm not usually one to give thanks. There's a sort of servant drink to it. But I suppose some gratitude is in order. As a show of goodwill, I'll exclude whatever misdeeds I hear about you in my reports to the headmaster. And I do hear quite a bit. Now, be off with you. I can't be seen talking to a student. Go on then, go! It's all Rebellion. right, everyone. I'm back. Oh, I hope it was worth it. Alfred Lawley's none too pleased. Seems he's been burgled. I should pretend I never heard the rumors of your involvement.
thinks you've made marvelous improvements here. known Harlow had met his match the day of the troll attack in Hogsmeade. Revelio. The village owes you a great debt for ridding us of that monster. And I mean Harlow. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Again? Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. <laughs> 